what do you do? And it's like, oh, I'm a wrestler. And they're like, oh, what's your stage name? And it's like, no, I do the real kind of wrestling. I did get recruited to try out for the WWE following the 2016 Olympic Games because they're like, it's on. <laughs> I decided to, you know, take a chance. What would you do if the WWE called you up and said, hey, come on down to Florida? It's as cool as it seems. And I got to meet Paul Vance, Stephanie Finn, a number of the up coming athletes. Actually, I flew and did a SmackDown live taping as well. It's set next to The Rock's mom and daughter. There's a lot of differences though between Olympic wrestling and professional wrestling. And I've actually spent my entire career trying to tell people that I'm not a professional wrestler. And they're like, oh, what do you do? And it's like, oh, I'm a wrestler. And they're like, what's your stage name? And it's like, no, I do the real kind of wrestling. So it's a little bit ironic that I did eventually get recruited to join the WWE in Olympic wrestling. You know, it's two people really trying to beat down literally each other. And you have to try and create a game plan to take them down against their will. The WWE is a lot more like an intricate athletic dance. You never are pulling your opponent or pushing your opponent. Everything is activated by the person that you're working with. And so if someone was to push me or pull me, I would actually be the one who's driving the motion. And I thought that, I thought that was like really cool. You're not trying to injure your opponent. You're trying to work with them to either take them down or smack them down. But with consent. But I decided that I wanted to continue and try and repeat and compete again for Canada as an Olympic champion. So that was a